We got there, Jay. We have successfully trapped a nuisance groundhog. There it is. Things are looking up on day two. They're always smaller than you think they'll be. Yeah, it's about the size of a... Big rabbit. Big rabbit, yeah. It's shorter, but it's denser. Should be some good eating, right? Because they eat the same things rabbits do, herbivores. Yeah. Have you ever had one before? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're tasty. Yeah. I only ate the haunches off of the one that I got before. So, so what would happen what would happen if you released one, if you caught it and you released it, it'd probably just come right back, right? Yeah, or it's probably gonna become a nuisance to somebody else. Right. They dig around your foundation or they get into your garden or agriculturally they're a pest. Horse farmers hate them because their horses might or cattle might step in the hole and break a leg. Yeah. And the reason we're we're doing this is because there's nothing else open. That's right. It's the summer, nothing else is open. We do a service for somebody else by removing a nuisance animal. Yep. And we get something to eat. That's right. Want to eat the head or do you want to eat the heart? <laughs> you you want to know where to aim? Yep. Uh, I think we want to eat the head. Okay. Because there's the most amount of fat there. You want the fat, eh? Yeah. Okay. All right. The shot. So that's the chamber adapter from the Ace Bullet Company. I'm shooting a 222 Remington, which is just a 22 caliber bullet, but in a large case. And what the chamber adapter lets me do is to have a, oops, 22 long rifle inside a milled out piece of steel and then the 22 long rifle is going to use the same rifling in the barrel so it should be very very accurate shot out of this gun and then i would just put another 22 long rifle in there put in the stopper and away away we go while we're doing this pe people always ask what kind of uh your vice grips multi-tool oh yeah you want to show that too while we're at it? Or? Yeah, I did reply to somebody's comment on my channel. Um, they are Victorinox. Uh, I'll get the name wrong. Spirit X, I think. So I got those from the Outland Supply Company. And I use them all the time. I quite like them. And that's the only thing? You don't even carry a knife? I just carry my pocket knife and this. I don't usually carry a bushcraft knife or a big knife. Fillet knife, probably, if we're fishing. Your shop's got a bullet hole in it now. Thanks Zach Fowler, maker of mischief, YouTube channel. He gave me this shovel and it's signed and I'm going to christen it right now. First time using it, sharp too. Grasshoppers and crickets. And so the Wooded Beardsman's gonna join me to do a little taste test on these. Freshly roasted on the fire. 
You calling me in then? Yep. I get to not be the cameraman, I get to be Come the guinea pig. In. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's meaty. The next one's a cricket. Alright. And a grasshopper. You got a double. Mmm, nice. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's good. It's like it's got a little bit of fat. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Yeah, like I don't mind it. Six hundred of those you'd be like maybe full. maybe more than six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> People gave us a lot of crap last time because we singed the porcupine before we gutted it. But singeing it doesn't mean you're cooking the animal. You're only getting the outside out. Like the guts aren't cooked yet. None of it exploded, except for when Jeremy nicked it there not too long ago. But uh, you don't have to, you don't have to gut it first. It's not the point. The point of singeing it is to preserve the the skin part so that you can eat it instead of just skinning the whole animal and discarding all the fat which is what we want because the fat's in short supply look at that, collectible so you're going to try to wrap it in there and stuff it in that pot? it was oh, made for it it was made for it just like your ancestors used to eat groundhog yep the whole thing Hungry? Always hungry, man. <laughs> so you heard our troubles. Yeah, so we we went up to the top pond and we found them. We moved the traps. Yep. You're up for it? Yep. We uh, got Adam back here with his traps and we're going to go to the middle pond, which is more difficult to access because it has no trail. And when we first came here, wanted to make things easy. Sorry, I got a trail camera and tripod and everything. So now we're pretty confident that we know what's happening with the beaver. And that's gonna be a big game changer. Because if we get 50 pounds of meat, or 20 pounds or 30 pounds of beaver meat, we're gonna be enjoying a little bit of leisure time, which is desperately needed at this point. Lots of work, so we're looking to get ahead of the game. And you can't do that with these small animals. And we haven't even been able to forage that much. So it's been tough. Anyway, hopefully this does the trick. Adam's gonna set some traps. Is 
That'll make them kind of duck under it a bit. Just to kind of funnel them a little bit. Doesn't take much of a funnel. Just like that. So where's that trap? Because I can't see it with the camera anymore. It's just underneath that log. That trap is right here. And then are you gonna and we're just gonna break that right behind the trap? Yeah. And he'll instinctively come. What if he comes with branches? Do they usually uh, come? They usually come to check things out. They'll use what they have here to get going. Yeah. And then if they have to, they'll go get building material. Right. But they know that they have pretty much everything there. So breaking the dam triggers the instinct to, to come and do work, right? Yeah, they have a natural instinct that says, uh, come and do something. There's uh, The water's running out and they rely on the water for from protection you know with them out there not much can get them other than you know an otter in the summer and a winter while well, something could dig it up potentially but right. when and the ground and mud's frozen that's going to be like concrete and they're vulnerable when they're on land exactly so they don't want this to empty out and become land One down. One down. So is this going to be your caster set? Yeah, we'll just do a quick and dirty one. So the caster set that you're just going to use like a beaver scent? Yeah, it's the caster glands. It's nice to have a trapper on the team. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just, just part time. <laughs> one day Adam will be a full time Wilderness Living Challenge. Participant. Participant, yeah. Way in, way out. Eat crappy food for five days. The glands out of the beaver, you just grind it up with some uh, glycol. Or, yeah, glycol. No, glycerin. 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 Just so it doesn't freeze. You could use mineral oil too. You make that yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't really see much point in buying any beaver lures because you've got pretty much the best lure there is after you get your first beaver. There you go. Put a good glob on there. If it rains or anything, something's gonna wash off. Not the end of the world. That's it. That's it. All right. Oh yeah, that's ready. All off the bone. Look at that. Smells good. Does it smell good? Yep. What do you want? I'll go first? Yep. Is that a piece of skin? Yeah, that's it's, uh, uh, You got the rib again. Oh. Like the, the that's bacon. The, that's not a bad part. Straight for the bacon, eh? It's not bad. Why are you gagging? <laughs> it's a little slimy. Is it? Maybe it's slimy. fat. Well, it's the fat for sure there. I like it. It's as good as the hair. Yeah. Not bad. I think I like the beaver better. Yeah. But I'm gonna save that for you guys, all that. Thanks. Appreciate it, because we are hungry. You need it, I don't. <laughs> we gonna, do. I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm not going there either. <laughs> Check out Adam Craig outdoors. The link will be at the bottom. There's lots of trapping videos. So the skin's edible. It doesn't taste like guts. 
No. You don't have to gut it first before you singe it. Just makes a cleaner job. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. You keep the if you keep it all closed up, you scrape it off, you don't have two edges that are burning while you're trying to scrape it. So it just keeps everything clean. You're not cooking it when you're singeing it, you're just heating the hair to burn it off. Same as you would a, a pig. How's the skin? It's good. Yeah? It's rich. But, like I was saying earlier, it reminds me a bit when you cook a chicken with the skin on and then you want crispy skin but it's not. It's just that soft skin. Edible? Oh yeah. So the skin is absolutely repulsive to me, but for some reason I can't eat any more of the lean protein, the lean meat. This is like butter, although it's just, it's gross. It's just wrong. It just doesn't seem right to eat it. For some reason it seems okay to eat a chicken skin, but this doesn't seem right. It's like, but it's like pure butter. It just turned into a paste. But so fatty. Like you could butter a toast with that. So if you're ever in a survival situation, as they say, keep the skin. There's so much energy in that. So much energy. What were you saying about the spinal cord? Uh, you litter of the spine just that it's really rich you want some no uh, you can have it all right a little fat and goodness mm -hmm. i'm sure people are interested in watching us eat the head at some point oh yeah oh fish it out look at all that gelatin under the paw Want the rest of that? <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? Keep There's another one in there. Keep offering you paws. Yeah. Random bits. Paw skin. Not the paw skin. Gone. <laughs> Help yourself. There's a liver. Get kind of full. But I can't do the liver though. How many calories in the liver? Three. There's no calories in the liver? I don't know. Liver's pretty good. It's pretty dry though. Mm. I'm gonna have to get up at midnight and eat again. <laughs> we better save some then. We'll get that beer. Mm. Yeah. Oh, still picking away at this thing. And uh, so we're gonna wrap this up because we can't eat anymore. Pretty full. Pretty full. So what do you want to do with the brain? Or, look at that piece of meat on there. Yeah. Uh, you want to do the stomach? Give it a try. And I'll do the brain. Oh, is that how it's going to work? You don't want your veggies, your cantaloupe? Well, yeah, I, maybe I'll have a little bit. Some partly digested cantaloupe. Looks like it burst open. Yeah, it did. Show the camera that. They don't want to see that. They don't? Of course they do. A stomach with cantaloupe coming out of it. People that are watching this video want to see everything. I know. They're weird like us, Jeremy. They're weird like us. Tastes like old, warm cantaloupe. It's still cantaloupe, though. With a bit of spinach in it. Does it have the acid taste like the rabbit did? No. Not the cantaloupe part. So we're going to save this for tomorrow morning, right? This will be breakfast? Yep. Be nice to get some berries. What do you think? Oh yeah. We're due. This is much less acidic than the rabbit. There's the tongue. You want the tongue? Yeah, you got it last time, right? Oh. There's more acidity there now. Tongue. Adam, tongue. My tongue. You sure?
What else is attached to it? Adam's enjoying the show firsthand. All oh, the sweet breads and from the... afar. So to eat the brain, Adam, you got to mush it around first. Yeah. To eat the tongue, you close your eyes and then just pretend it's your girlfriend. Your it's wife. actually really oh. good. <laughs> it's really good. It's good. Yep. Really good. The tongue's always really good. Yeah. So once you get it all hauled out there, clean this up a little bit because it's going to get in my beard fur. Oh, you forgot. You got to plug the nose. Do I? Why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I need the air to come through. <laughs> Jeez, I thought you were being helpful there. No. No, I wasn't. <laughs> you can put doing this again. <laughs> I'm not you, hungry anymore. You only had it in you to do it once? Well, I'm not that hungry right now. It made more sense when I was hungry. Yep. All right, here goes. <laughs> I set myself up to do it this time. That's another skull we're going to keep. All right, here goes. Oh my god, a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's okay. not working out this time. It's not. Not like the hair. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, there it is. It's like eating lard. Like mayo. We should have a second camera so everybody can see Adam vomiting. <laughs> the facial reaction. Oh, just lie. the reaction. No, just the reactions. There go. coming through the nostril so <laughs> when are you gonna say your line there oh I'm not <laughs> I'm not just, gonna say no it. I'm keeping all my comments quiet I'll just edit them out anyway and I might I might not you can say it Adam if you want <laughs> no Adam's eating um, Blue whales. Blue whale jelly candies. <laughs> <laughs> Have we eaten any of your jelly candies? Nope. So for the record. There they are. are. You want to dry? That's all right. Yeah, I'll wash my lips off. No, I had lots of the hairbrain. All right, we'll put it back. Hairbrain. It was a hairbrained idea. Yeah, you wonder if these things come from somewhere. A hairbrained yeah. idea and scramble the brains. Yep. Yeah. An eyeball? Go for it. Jeez, no? you're out, eh? You're out for the count. I'm full. I am full, too. <laughs> I'll give the other one a go. The other eyeball? Will you? Left. I think it fell in the soup. Is it there? Oh, it's part of it's there. Oh. One. I, thought, I thought it fell out, too. That's why I volunteered. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> there you go. There he is. He's half animal, half spruce tree. <laughs> Your tongue is blue from those candies, too. <laughs> they're alright, eh? Like, they're just kind of fatty and... Yeah. I don't know. They're tasty. It's where you get your, your vitamins from if you're a carnivore. Eating everything. Yeah. So how was the stomach? It was, uh... Good. It was... Near the cantaloupe, it was not acidic. And then as I got closer into the green stuff, it got more and more acidic. Yeah, it smells the same. It was, it was pretty much the same. Yeah, we'll Except keep... there was no cantaloupe in the hair. Yeah. We'll keep it in there, let it soak. All right, that's it. Wrapping this up. Yeah, there we go. That's, Day two. That's gonna be breakfast tomorrow, and we're gonna check our beaver traps in the morning. Adam thinks we're gonna get one, maybe two. Guaranteed one. Guaranteed one. He's guaranteeing the audience one. So tune in next episode. Yep. We're out. Yep. We're gonna go go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. <clears throat> Forgot one more thing. Yeah. I'll flip that. All right. We forgot dessert. How could we? We're so full. We forgot dessert. So this is our choke cherry, raspberry, um, leather. fruit leather. So it's gonna be a little stuck. Actually, nah, it's not bad. Not too bad. Where it's not dry yet, it's not the bad. The middle's a little bit wet. It's like jam. Oh, God. Nice. <clears throat> Tart, but good. Tart, but good. Yep. There you go. Now we won't be in ketosis. Yeah. Polished off. All done. <laughs>